to our live cast this Friday. Friday. Uh, Royal cast. Vintage. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Um, so I'm Abby. And I'm Lauren. And this is Maggie. Maggie so hi, Maggie. Maggie's Hello. our bestie. Maggie's visiting. Yeah. Um, it's her birthday. Say, so happy, happy birthday. birthday. Um, so, so she's in our live cast. Yeah. If you tune into the American Dutch's live cast, she was the magic shoe tree behind us. <laughs> but we decided to free her from her yes. uh, prison to sit on the couch with us this time appreciate instead. It. So we're going to talk um, about vintage shoes. Yeah, so uh, we're here to talk to you today about our amazing, and we're super excited about it, spring-summer uh, collection that is going up for pre-order on the 1st of February. So Yay! next week. Uh, so yeah, we just wanted to go through our different designs, talk about our inspiration for them, uh, things like that, and yeah, we're yeah. excited, to say the least. Yeah, so if you guys have questions, we are live, they're going to yeah. come up on our screen, and we mm -hmm. can answer them live uh, later when we're not live. Yes. Uh, you can still do the comments, and mm -hmm. we're just going to answer them with comments, okay? So yes. feel free to ask questions about any of the designs mm -hmm. and reasoning and whatnot uh, that we're going to show you. Yeah. What would you like to start with, Abigail? I don't know. What should we start with? Should we do a uh, chronological like we did last for American Duchess? Um, yeah, we can do that. Okay. okay, should we start with these? Yeah, so the first shoe we want to show to you today is what we have named ever so lovingly the Gatsby. Um, hold this one because you'll see it against your nose. <laughs> yeah. um, and this is our 1920s T strap two tone uh, shoe. If you remember the 23 Skidoo from American Duchess, this is basically the exact same shoe with a minor change on the side, mm -hmm. um, but patent leather, uh, white leather, and Super damn cute, if I do say so myself. So 1920s. So, yeah. so very, it's kind of like the basic shoe of yeah. the 1920s. Um, it's got all the hallmarks, the mm -hmm. two two tones, the T-strap. Uh, I'll use this one so it's easier to see. So this is our Spanish heel. It's two and three eighths inch, and it's very well balanced. You see how it curves in at the mm -hmm. back? So Super comfortable. So if you bought any shoes from the Deco Darlings collection, or Eve's from this last uh, New Yorker collection, it's the same last and the same heel. Yep. So just keep that in mind. So all leather. The patent leather is real patent leather. It's not mm -hmm. uh, plastic. And then leather on the inside with that lovely arch support that we put in all of our shoes. Yeah. Happy days. So yeah. really, really, really fun 1920s shoes. Yeah, and they're going to come in the red and white and the black and white. Those are the only colors for this run. So yeah. <laughs> but you'll like yeah. that. And those are Gatsby. Gatsby. So what's next, Abby? What? Uh, oh, Ginger's. Yinjers. Yeah, I was like, what is next? Yinjers. Um, so, so these are gingers. There's been a lot of excitement about these online. Yes. We've been doing some previews. Yes. Uh, so gingers are a 1930s sandal. Mm -hmm. um, and, and in case you couldn't tell, it's super, super deco. Yeah. And what I really, really love about these is, I think it's easier to see on this, Maybe. is these are perforated, uh, ventilated shoes. So mm -hmm. this, the dots there are, are holes. holes. And they go all the way through, you're not going to be able to see it, they go all the way through to the lining so it's truly ventilated rather than being backed by yeah, like a solid piece of leather. Yeah. Um, really, really fun. You get some stretch there on mm -hmm. the sides to keep it on and then of course the keyhole and the teeny, teeny, tiny peep toe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we hate like really big open toes. I really hate They kind of hurt and they like show too much toe, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's uh, like so, red toe sausage coming out. Yeah, it's, it's like toes it's everywhere. So when we do a peep toe, we look at our original <laughs> shoes, which yeah. all have these like super <laughs> tiny, like super small actual yeah. peeping rather than like <laughs> toes. Um, so very small little peep toe yeah. on the end there. And mm -hmm. these have the Spanish heel too. Yeah. yeah. So same same heel height as the Gatsby's and the Deco Darlings collection. Yeah. So again, I'm nice. getting these. So. <laughs> Gingers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Do you like the red and the white? Red and white. All the red and white. Ever, yeah. Forever. Always. <laughs> red and white is just such a fun summer combination, yeah. and the blue and white is very nautical. It's kind of a bright blue. It's it's a little bit darker than Abby's shirt. <laughs> for a good reason. <laughs> but like these would totally go for this outfit that Abby's yeah. wearing today. So wonderful nautical. Wear them with beach pajamas. Wear them with skirts. I mean everything. So I love these shoes. These are, ooh, it's a contender between Hepburns and Gingers for my favorites in this yeah. collection. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I just think these are so fun. They're so I, 30s. You're not going to give Rita a chance? I don't know. Uh, oh, it's so hard when This is a really, really hard collection. Everything is cool. Everything's <laughs> really, really cool. What's so. your favorites, Meg? These are your favorites? Of so far, the gingers are definitely my favorite, although there are a couple that we're going to show you that I might also be a little <laughs> bit in love with. They're just... Vintage shoes are... These are just so much fun. I They're mean, just so You fun. could wear these with some skinny jeans or cute wide leg trousers. 
for work. And you I wear because you have like what? Megan's was, rockets. I'm wearing like yeah. high waisted yeah. wide leg trousers, and these would look yeah, yeah. Cute with super that. cute. And something I really feel about the ginger as well is that there's mm-hmm. nothing else like this that I've mm-hmm. seen that's out there, and that's something we go for with the designing. Is you know we want to fill the gaps in mm-hmm. the marketplace. So truly like very Art Deco 1930s sandals with this fun sort of summer boardwalk feel. You, they just don't exist. So now they do. February Yay! 1st, guys. Woo, ginger. Okay. Yeah. Now, my, well, which one's, which one? Let's do the Kilty next. Hepper. The Kilty? Kilty. Yeah. Okay. So when we were <laughs> coming up with ideas for this collection, I was like, let's do a golf shoe. Oh my god, please, 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 can we do a golf shoe? And Lauren was like, mm. and I was like, oh, Lauren, no, like, come fringe. on, look at the fringe, it's so cute. And then we started designing them. <laughs> and, and then it was like, oh. And then the samples came, and then it was like, oh, these are. I, I'm basically going to live, this is my sample pair, I'm going to live in these all yeah. summer long. I love them. Yeah. So we were looked at catalogs and when they had them, um, the different designs, and we came up with the with the light brown and white, and then the Kelly green and white. So very sporty, very fun. This is the same last and heel as our Claire's. It's not the same last. No, well, it's yeah, it's a little different, but same heel as Claire's. Yeah. So what makes them different is that this actually has the nice snub nose. Here at the toe that our players didn't have, so it has that nice like 1940s. Yeah, the built-up right toe with a more of an angle here mm-hmm. uh, rather than the softer toe. So yeah. it's very early 1940s. Yeah, and the kilty is removable. Mm-hmm. So yeah. so if you don't like the kilty fringe on the on the on the shoe, it's okay. You can take them off. They're still really really cute afterwards. And then it has its own little like personality. It's your own like shoe emoji. Oh, it's like a. Um, Pac-Man yeah. ghost. He has a, he has a personality. <laughs> so you can leave it in, in, in interesting places and be like, oh, <laughs> this is, yeah, he's displeased. Uh, you your, your kilty friends. <laughs> your kilty friends. But this is what the brown looks like without it. So it's still yeah. really, really cute uh, with or without the kilty. Yeah. But so, this is half the fun. Yeah. Totally. Half like the, flaps, the, flaps, yeah. the flaps. And the kilty fringe is very popular this season in mm-hmm. like mainstream shoes as yeah. well. So there's a lot of cool crossover. <laughs> Uh, which which I love. Um, I'm in love with these shoes. They're all leather. They've got the arch support. You can put support more support in them. I know we had that question earlier. Oh, oh my god, dogs are everywhere! Dogs are everywhere. Oh, hi, Chris. Hi. <laughs> dogs everywhere. Um, leather lining, and then the mm-hmm. soles on these are welted soles. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, it's that. rubber. It's super mm-hmm. durable, and it rubber's a really nice soling material because it has impact bounce, yeah. impact uh, mm-hmm. resistance, I guess. That is. So when you're walking, you know, a long distance, if, let's say you live in New York, like so many of our friends, and you need to hoof it across the city, <laughs> and you don't want your feet to hurt, like this is the perfect shoe for that. Mm-hmm. 1.6 inch heel with the stacked look, and then the, the rubber spring soles. So love these. These are called Hepburn. Um, Catherine Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> oh my God, it's like an army of dogs Shush. coming for us. Shush. Okay. So then the yeah. last Yeah, now Doris wakes up. <laughs> The last style um, that we have to show you. Let's grab them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we have a comment. I love the Hepburns. That heel height is so comfortable, mm-hmm. and those are so cute. Thank you, Jenny. Yeah. Yes, the heel height I'm is really awesome. Nice Cuban heel. Very mm-hmm. accurate. Uh, very attractive, but also practical. Mm-hmm. So good stuff. Yeah. So, so Maggie, tell us what you think of our last style. These are a close second for me um, between these ones and the gingers. I love them both. Who doesn't love a good mm-hmm. platform? I mean, come on, these are so much fun. This little extra bit here is something that I adore, and you don't the you little know, platform bits. Yeah, it's. Okay. I like a tall shoe. I like to be tall. I'm not a terribly tall person anyway. She's taller than me, though. No, that's true. <laughs> but she's they're both taller than me. Than me. Yeah. <laughs> but I do love I do love a, a fierce tall shoe. And I feel like these are another one that you can kind of if you have a vintage wardrobe, they're great for that. If you have a modern wardrobe, also great for that. I would wear these with skinny jeans, absolutely. Oh yeah. At work. Like that's gonna happen. So these are called Rita. They're named mm-hmm. after Rita Hayworth, because mm-hmm. we felt like she would totally love these shoes. Mm-hmm. And they are a uh, straight up repro. Mm-hmm. Straight up repro. So So the heel actually on these shoes you might recognize from our other nineteen forties shoes. 
um, from our classic collection specifically. Do we have anything in the New Yorker collection that had this heel in it? I don't think so. No, no I don't think so. Yeah. Um, so that heel actually came from one of the originals. So out of the pair, one of the shoes, um, the original shoes. So that's where this heel actually came from, was from this, this shoe here. So we had one shoe uh, that stayed, one of the pair stayed behind, and we were looking at it, and we were trying to finish this collection, and we were having a hard time because we wanted to do a 1940s shoe. We wanted to use our three-inch Cuban heel, but we were having a hard time coming up with a new design that we were really excited about that was interesting, different, historically accurate, but wasn't too close to the shoes that we released in the classic 1940s collection. And we had a couple of tryouts with different designs, and it was just not really working for us. Like, we just weren't happy with it. And we knew that you all wouldn't be happy with it. And we were like, no. And then it was almost, it was like kind of just like, screw it, take the shoe, repro exactly. And then well, it came had, in like. That's when we were in our, in our office here. We yeah. have, um, we now have a bank of display cases on one wall that has all of our archive old shoes in it. Yeah. But at the time, they were all in boxes um, in the warehouse because we had just moved in here. So, well, kind of. They we were in storage. And it was, they were in storage. We so we started time. pulling shoes out. And I was like, oh, I remember this one. Oh, I remember that one. I was like, this would make a great addition to the Boardwalk collection. Yeah. So we sent the, the last remaining uh, shoe, which was originally navy, navy blue, and mm -hmm. it was in rough condition. Yeah. Like, well, you posted bad. a picture of them on, <laughs> on Insta, and it's like... And so we did, we did the repro um, right down to the laces with the little fringes mm -hmm. on the end, which are so fun. Mm -hmm. Love these. Um, and we had these custom made for, for, uh, shoe. for us, mm -hmm. so you're not going to find those kinds of shoelaces so, normally. So we didn't do navy, um, but we did do black because we know black is more popular. And tan. Uh, and tan as well. So this shoe has a little bit of everything. It does have the lace-up Oxford uh, bit to it with the laces that Lauren just showed. It is a slingback. It is a peak toe. It's a platform. It's a three-inch heel. And it's got cutouts. And it's got cutouts. So it's a little bit of everything. <laughs> it's the kitchen sink shoe. Um, it's elasticized here in the back, so it fits really well. Um, I am someone who's very fussy about slingbacks. I always have a little... I, I, I'm not... Honestly, peak toes and slingbacks, those really are not my cups of tea. Um, but these but shoes, totally my <laughs> yeah. But for this one, actually, I was I put them on. Oh, they look really good. They on looked too. really good on first off, but they felt secure on my foot. Like I felt like I could actually walk in it, and I wasn't gonna accidentally walk out of the slingback. It was really secure against my foot, and it held my foot into the shoe yeah. in place nicely too. And part of that's because the vamp comes up high. Here yeah, and it has the lacing. Um, so so quintessentially 1940s. Mm -hmm. I mean. But you can wear this today mm -hmm. with modern clothes, and it's going to look great. Yeah. I mean, it has the crossover. Again, it's something that you just haven't seen something like this available mm -mm. on the market, which is one of the reasons we wanted to do it. Um, so <laughs> we had some questions about different soling options for swing dancers. We do the street soles. Uh, we yeah. don't have an option for leather soles. You can go and have suede put on or leathers put on at um, a shoe repair. But because we're such a small company, we can't offer the two soling options. Mm -hmm. And we go for the going to last forever, wear them every day, yeah. soling. Um, so any other questions that you have, these are, again, they're called Rita after mm -hmm. Rita Hayworth. And we just feel like she would totally love these shoes. They come in black and brown. Um, really, really, really happy with how these turned out. And I think you're really going to love them. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm super excited. Oh, my God. It's the mail truck. It's the mail yeah. truck. <laughs> Here's the mail. It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so that's our collection. Uh, we've called it the Boardwalk Collection mm -hmm. because we've done a lot of fun, bright colors. Um, there was a, a question earlier about all white shoes or partial white shoes for summer. Yes, very, very popular. Come here, get that um, mail. <laughs> Hi, mailman. But one of the reasons that we did the white leather rather than like canvas, which is, was the original incarnation of Ginger was canvas here, is because of cleanliness. So don't be afraid of white leather. Obviously don't go stomping through the mud in white leather, but you're not gonna have the same kinds of problems as you would if this were um, a fabric shoe. Canvas and fabric was popular in the 1930s for summer shoes, uh, but this is just not practical. So we're going to save you that pain of dealing with it. Okay, you guys, if you have any more questions, go ahead. Um, we'll answer them. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the noise. Um, the Boardwalk Collection opens for pre-order 
February 1st yeah. at royalvintageshoes.com. And it'll go till February 28th. Yes, Correct. so the whole month of February, when you pre-order with us, you get a nice discount. $20 off. Woo! We also do the free shipping and free exchanges in the U.S., mm -hmm. which is awesome. So you don't have to worry about if they're going to fit or, you know, what mm -hmm. happens. Um, and we've shortened the, the wait time for pre-order. So thank you very much for pre-ordering. You're going to get them in April. So it's mm -hmm. you only have to wait for, you know, depending on when you order, like February and then March and then they'll, they'll arrive in time for spring and all your lovely spring outfits and you'll have them all summer. Yeah, it'll be great. Um, you can also do easy pay layaway. So for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's our layaway auction um, and that works for the pre-order as well. So what we like to, to see, well not like to see, but what, what other people have responded to is that sometimes when you we release a collection, you want more than one pair of shoes and you're like, holy crap, that's a lot. What do I do? And it's like, well, you can actually pre-order both pairs of shoes and get the $20 discount <laughs> on on all of them and you can do the easy pay layaway. <laughs> you can do the easy pay layaway. <laughs> um, and pay it off over time, over a, a few months, and uh, you'll get both the shoes with a discount. What's also really nice about doing the pre-order on the layaway is that the amount of time it usually takes to pay off the shoes is usually when they show up. Yeah. So by the time you actually pay them off, they're arriving into our warehouse and we're shipping them out the same day. So you don't <laughs> actually really have to wait any longer than if you pay for them full price up front. Yeah. Um, so just something to keep in mind if you're like, I want all of them, uh, yeah. but that's... Budget. We can make that happen. We can help you. It can happen and it won't hurt that much. No. And you you'll have a fabulous that. closet for uh, of, of shoes um, yeah. forever because they're very well made and they last a long time. Yeah. Okay, you guys, that's the Boardwalk Collection, Woo! February 1st, royalvintageshoes.com. Mm -hmm. If you follow us on Instagram or Facebook, um, you're not going to be able to, to get away from us telling you about this. No. Uh, sorry. Um, but we hope that you're as excited as we are. Mm -hmm. We worked really hard on the collection, and it's fun, and it's, it's poppy. A lot of very, color. Very fun, and there's something for everybody in here, 1920s, 30s, and 40s. I'm ready for winter to be over, so yes. I can start wearing these. <laughs> yes, please. I might just start wearing them anyway. <laughs> well, you can start the Hepburns early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, totally. Fine. All right, you guys. If you have any questions, again, we will answer them with comments. Mm -hmm. You can also message us or email us or get in touch. Mm -hmm. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye.